Hello, my friends. Good evening. Welcome to another English class. Let's see who do we have here. Vamos a ver quién tenemos por acá. So we can start. Okay, let's listen to some of the participants. Here we have um, Evelyn, are you there? Just for a Evelyn. Present teacher. Perfect, I like to hear that you are there. And also Daniel, right? Daniel, are you there? Yeah, teacher, I'm here. Okay, that's perfect, thank you. Um, Let's see, Eduardo, yeah. Yeah, teacher. Perfect. Thank you for answering. And Guillermo, everything okay? Present, teacher. Thank you. Hi, my friend. Andre, I don't know if you are there. Sometimes uh, you can. Present, teacher. Thank you. And David, are you there, David? Hello, teacher. I am here. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for answering. Okay.
Okay, we're going to, well, we have an easy question. For example, the question to begin is very simple. Mention one of the policies in your company. I mean, one of the regulations or some of the, let's see, um, specific uh, yeah, regulations maybe o menciona alguna de las políticas en tu empresa, en la compañía donde tú estás. Por ejemplo, can be attend clients face to face, atender a los clientes cara a cara. Okay. Give support to customers, provide a good service, or could it be, for example, attend personally to clients? Eh, parte de las políticas que tiene su empresa, it can be related to products, puede ser relacionado a la calidad de los productos, it, it can be related to the way you treat client or suppliers, la manera en como se trata a los clientes, a los proveedores o compradores, okay? So, let's mention one of the policies in your company. Una de las políticas que eh, se trabaja en su empresa, como que un eje transversal, como un punto importante que caracteriza Something that is part of the characteristics of the company. So that's it, okay? So let's wait. Let's see. Vamos a escribir en el chat. I send you an example. Let's send you an example so you can have an idea what to write. I need just one. One of the policies in your company. Okay, let's listen and let's read some of your opinions. 
Um, we're going to start this time with... Hey, Eduardo, could you read yours, please? Yes, uh, in my case, I pay at least five visits to customers on the week. Okay, at least visits five customers. So that's part of the norms or that I guess that's yeah part of, of, of your duties five customers mm -hmm. yes this is part or, of the norm or you, you can visit more imagine seven yes. customers that's better right I, I can visit 12 oh that's it or even 12 but you uh you can visit less right Three or two yes. mm, is not acceptable, right? Okay. Five is the is the minimum. Is the minimum. Okay. Thank you. Uh, interesting point. Thank you. Okay. Guillermo says, provide a good service. Uh, Guillermo, uh, you mean giving solutions to people, giving support? Is that what? Um, you mean? Yes, I mean uh, to give a good experience to all the clients. Okay, okay, that's nice. And in your in your job at the end, because you work with, with uh, phone calls, right, Guillermo? Yes. Okay, at the end of your call, do the clients score your work? I mean, they say from one to 10, how well did you treat them or... Mm, is from one to three. Oh, okay. They have to score your performance. Um, yes. Okay. The first one is the performance of the agent. Okay. The second question is um, if we we made a good solution for the client. Uh huh. And the third one is if they recommend um to go uh, to the call center okay. again. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. So with that information, they can know if you did a good job, right, or not. But sometimes there are some customers that they are so demanding. Yes, I mean, happy. but we we create a. Un caso? I don't know how oh. to say that. One case. Ah, yeah, one case. One case. And we we send a, an email to the mm -hmm. customer and they can score. Okay. Mm -hmm. They can score as well. Okay. Well, thank you, Guillermo. Thank you for the information. Kind of useful. Uh, Daniel, smoking is not allowed. Uh, you work in an office? Daniel? No. Not necessarily. Uh, no. Okay. But smoke is not that loud. Okay. Thank you. David, uh, could you read yours, please? Hello, teacher. Uh, in my company, in my company, an internet police is provide quality telephone service in their of product support and Attention. Okay, yeah, thank you. Similar to Guillermo, you have to yes. provide quality um, service in different uh, aspects, right? But one of them, support and attention, like the main, right? The most important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, David. Nice. Andre, you say audit every month by customer. What do you mean by that? Do the customers uh, evaluate you or something like that? Yes, sure. The customer evaluate uh, the company. Mm, okay. Nice. Thank you. Evelyn, could you read yours? Keep, keep the product in a cool and dry place. And you mean like, similar to refrigeration rooms or refrigerators or something like that? Everything? Refrigerator. 
Okay, what kind of products do you work with? Son tortillas para tacos. Ah, nice. What is the name of the brand? ¿Cuál es el nombre de la marca? ¿Perdón? El nombre de la marca. Los molinos. Nice. Yeah, I guess uh, that's delicate. It's delicado, eso, right? Because of the, the product. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Uh, oh, please give a good customer service and give a personalized attention. Gustavo, you mean you attend clients face to face uh, in person? Uh, yes, teacher. Um, Eh, lo único que eh, no estoy en, en la tienda, sino que trabajo en campo. Ok, ok. That's it. Thank you. Nice. Ok. Ok, so you don't, have, you don't work in a specific place, but you, you see the clients, right? You have contact with the client. Is that true? Ok, I guess it's... Maritza, hello there. Hello. So, todo bien? Everything okay? Um, yes. <laughs> okay, very In nice. Provide a uh, good service. Okay, provide a good service with a um, customer, I mean, by telephone, or with phone call, face to face, or how? Mm, no. Uh, or, or you give a uh, service, know. you provide a service or products? The services or products? Ah, services. Okay, you provide yes. services. Okay. Quality, quality services. Thank you, Maritza. Okay. And here we have something that is kind of tricky. Es algo que es como compuso. Uh, make versus do. Okay. You use make. When you express this, make a decision, you don't say do a decision. You say make a decision, make a mistake. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Make a call, make a promise, make a list, make a noise, make a choice. Noise, choice, okay? Make a plan, make breakfast, uh, make friends, make money, make progress, make, uh, make lunch. Make dinner, not diner, it's dinner. And the other is do. Do homework, do housework, do business, do your hair, do a good job, do the shopping, do your best, do support, do a job, do exercises, do an interview, do a favor, do a bad job. Okay, I'm going to call you one by one, ya lo llamo, para que, so we can have the attendance list. Okay, please, I'm going to call you and say hi, hello, good evening. And after that, please select one of these phrases with make or do. Adi Beatriz, not right. Uh, Ana Cristina. Cristi, are you there? Okay, I guess no. And Luisa? No, Luisa. Andre, yes, right, Andre. 
Yes, teacher. Your... Okay, your phrase. Okay, and then we go with Rivas. I don't know if Rivas is here. Um, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Present teacher, I'm here. Do a bad job. Perfect. And you have David. Present teacher. Hi, uh, David. A, a call. Okay. Make a call. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you, Evelyn. Make a decision. Mm -hmm. That's it. And Guillermo. Hello. No, uh, do ex mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, John is listener, right? Uh, Katia, I don't know if Katia is there. Let's see who else. Maritza. Hi, Maritza. Make a mistake. Okay, make a mistake. Thank you. And Gustavo? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Do, do homework. Perfect. And let's go with Oscar Daniel. Okay, maybe not. And Eduardo? Present, do an interview. Okay, thank you. And uh, Rosalie is like a listener. Susie, I don't know if you're there. Okay, let's move. So here we have like a very simple phrases using make or do, something that uh, confuses. And here we have a conversation. We are let our, we are already talked about the policies in your workplace. I know there are some policies that maybe you are not happy with like you have policies and you mentioned some yeah like regulations like instructions or rules or reglas sometimes okay so um here we have bruno and here we have max and they are having a conversation Okay, the conversation says. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what the policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in the, my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your super superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work. Two, you shouldn't do it. I think so too okay so here we have uh, this conversation between the use of should as you notice should is present in both verdad in, in, in negrita ahí está should i will need a uh, maritza to send the screenshot if possible And yes. I'm going to create. Thank you, Marita. I'm going to create the teams. Okay, 
Here we go. Let's practice the use of should or shouldn't. Okay. See you in a moment, my friend. Okay, Guillermo, I will need you to help. Joseph, please. Okay, that's it.
Okay, my friends, uh, let's continue with this. Should and shouldn't, right? Uh, ya sabemos que should es un modal verb y significa debería. Okay, ojo con esto. I, uh, here we have some similarities. Should, could, que lo vamos a estudiar mañana, and would. Ambos, uh, well, three of them, los tres de ellos, este, no se pronuncia uh, la O ni la L. Should, could, would. Should, could, would. Should significa debería. Could, podría y would eh, hace que los verbos se terminen en ia, como que si deberían o no. Ok. So, uh, maybe we can have this pronunciation. Maritza, could you help me, please? Your classmate was... Okay. Eduardo. Eduardo. Ok, Eduardo, are you there? Yep. Please. Action. Ok, I... I start. Okay. Okay. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies have you you have in your company? How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For okay. example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. Warning. And should and should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work. Two, you should, shouldn't do it. I think so, too. Thank you. Okay, very nice. Now, uh, here we have a couple of questions. And it says like this. What are some of the policies at Max Company? What should a worker do if he or she makes a mistake? Okay, maybe in this case we can have uh, some participation. Daniel, could you help me with question one or two, please? The number one. What are some policies at Max okay. Company? Max Company. Policies in Max Company. What do you think? Max is, uh, for example, the employee should wear a uniform always. Okay, yeah. Wear a uniform always. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. And here we have maybe we can have the participation of David. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Number one. Uh, please, number two, because number one is already completed. Mm -hmm. What's you? Okay. Uh... Uh -huh. What should, should a worker do if he or she makes a mistake? Okay. Mm. What should? should? Should you notify your superiors? Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's it. So you should notify to your superiors. Well, actually, that's something it should be done. Eso debería de hacerse. But here in El Salvador, sometimes... The workers do something wrong, but they keep in silence. They don't mention anything, no dicen nada. Cuando a veces se equivoca. Well, let's move with the... Tell a challenge in your life that you could overcome. Menciona un reto en tu vida que pudiste superar, sobrepasar. Okay? Uh, maybe we can have Gustavo. Could you help us here? And then we go with Luisa. Gustavo, uh, maybe any any problem? Sometimes challenge is similar to problems. Maybe a problem that you had in your life 
you have some limitations, difficulties, but at the end, al final, at the end, you could overcome, pudiste superar? Uh, not ready, teacher. Okay, you're not ready. Okay, maybe Luisa. What about you, Luisa? Any, okay. Anything yeah. that comes to your mind? Mm, yo creo que se aplica. Uh, my bed uh, uh, was finished my university uh, studies by the financial and time constraints. Okay, so you have like difficulties with your finances. That's what you mean? No. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe we can have Eduardo and Maritza. Okay, Eduardo, what about you? Any any challenge or Maritza? Hi, teacher. Yes. Uh... Overcome, what is the meaning? Overcome es superar. Cuando una dificultad o un reto que superaste. Uh, maybe uh, when my brother passed away. Passed away, okay. How old are, were you? ¿Qué edad tenías? How old were you? I, I have 19 years. Uh, I was. Mm -hmm. I was uh, I 19, yes. Uh, maybe it was like, yeah, it was difficult, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was difficult. He, he was three years uh, older than me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have a, a relation very, very near. And okay, it was like, you were like friends, right? Just Very, right. Okay, that's it. Oh, well, I guess it, it is like very complicated with a, a close relative passes away. So, yeah, I'm so sorry. Thank you for sharing, Eduardo. I guess that you were 19 years old. You were very young. Mm -hmm. But yes. you could do it. So congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Maritza and Daniel. Maritza, anything that comes to your mind? Maybe finish the university. It was complicated because I was travel and get it get up uh, early. Okay, so uh, what time do you use to get up when you were at the university? Mm. Uh, 4 a.m. Game. Okay, 4 a.m. Okay, so it was like a sacrifice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay, but you finished, right? Yeah. You finished university, so congratulations. It, it was like really positive that you finished that. Thank you, Maritza. Yeah, challenge. You. And you will may like have a lot of sacrifices to do okay daniel and then we go with david okay daniel mm, i'm sorry but i don't remember any other in my life <laughs> okay maybe david what about you david and then Guillermo. okay teacher uh... One of the colleges uh, that I was able to overcome is my university career. Okay. Uh, it was difficult. Is computer system engineer. Okay. Yes. Kind of complicated, right? Did you finish? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So similar to Maritza, that you had like difficulties you have like very well you have big problems but at the end 
you had to do some sacrifices and you finished. So congratulations, David. Uh, okay, let's listen to Guillermo. Okay, teacher. I I remember that I was when I was young, around sixteen years, sixteen years old. Uh, my mother was very sick, so I was very worried about about mm -hmm. that, and me enfermé como del colesterol. Oh, okay, you have some difficulties with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have to do a lot of exercise and, and eat more healthy. Yes. Every day. And for me, it was difficult because when you, when someone is young, you want to eat uh, all kind of food. Especially junk. Food, right fast food junk food yeah yeah so that that happens and well but uh, something good is that you at the end uh, your mother wa was okay and you were okay yes es decir de la misma preocupación me enfermé y luego yes, era como que me sentía me sentía como deprimido porque me enfermé, no podía comer lo mismo que mis amigos. Pero mis mejores amigos eh, eh, comían lo mismo que yo para hacerme barra. Entonces, wow, yeah. eso me ayudó mucho. That was, that was empathy, come on. Yeah, empathy. Because they had the opportunity to eat some other things, of course, that it is like delicious. And yeah, it is difficult if they could eat uh, fast food, for example, and you were eating salad or eating something like with no fat, right? So, good friends, Guillermo, and congratulations because you could overcome that difficulty. Thank you. Um, maybe we can have... Okay. Evelyn, I don't know if you're ready. Or Gustavo, if you have an idea. Be able to do that. I can. Okay. And Gustavo. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Remember uh, one giant change that I was able to overcome is a facial stroke that occurred to me uh, above uh, 18 years of age. Okay. Okay, so it happened like very, you were very young, era bastante joven, so. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes, it's okay, good because you could overcome to the point of superar, so it means that you don't have well, you have the strength in the fortaleza. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, my friends, let's move to this. Here we have how to use should. Uh, the instruction says, the instruction says, use modal verb should for strong advice and recommendation. Strong advice and recommendation. Structure, subject plus should plus verb plus complement. Here we have affirmative sentences and negative sentences. I would need Marita, please read um, affirmative sentences. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. Mm -hmm. And she should be on time every day. 
every day. Yeah, that, that that's it. Even uh, people who ride motorcycles should wear a helmet as well. People who work in constructions, they should wear helmets. Okay. Yeah. So it is a look at this. It is. It is a strong advice. Es un consejo pues, bastante, con bastante énfasis, with a, a letter of emphasis. Okay, now here we have the negative sentences. And in this case, I will need that. Luisa, could you help me please reading negative statement? Employees shouldn't. Okay, teacher. Employees should smoke in the facilities. Mm -hmm. We shall not forget to wear the uniform. The uniform. Thank you. So when you say facilities, you are talking about, for example, a factory. A factory can have different rooms, different areas. Así que facilities son las instalaciones. And, and we should not listen. Here, here we have the construction shouldn't or should not. Two forms to express negative sentence. Okay, now, and here we have used to, to write sentences about the policies in your work. Place using the words in parentheses. Okay. And here we have my schedule mi agenda o mi horario, my dress code, que es el código de vestimenta, attend trainings, atenderlos o uh, ir a los, eh, las capacitaciones, sleep in work hours, ok. So, remember that when we are talking about should is strong advice, es como pues una... Eh, recomendación bastante fuerte, casi que obligatoria. So, in that case, imagine. Ok. So, let's complete. You should, or my case, you should. Ok. Let's think about some sentences eh, of this. I'm going to ask. Ya les pregunto. Pensemos en alguna de estas oraciones utilizando el should Okay, let's see some volunteers for this. Maybe Guillermo can help me with one. Well, here we have Daniel first, and then Guillermo. Daniel, please. You, the number four. Hmm? You shouldn't, you should, you shouldn't sleep in hours, in work hours. Okay, sleep. Yeah. Yes, definitely. You shouldn't sleep in work hours. Okay. Thank you, Guillermo. Can you help me, please? And then we go with um Maritza. Okay. Number three, we should attend trainings mm -hmm. by the morning. In the morning. Yes. Okay. Uh, Maritza, any idea about number two? 
uh, I should wear my formal dress code. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In your case, Maritza, you should uniform or dress code? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Uh, formal. Mm, yeah, that's a dress code, okay? That's different. Mm -hmm. For example, people in factories, they commonly wear uniform, but dress code is, as you said, like formal. Mm -hmm. It is not an mm -hmm. uniform, but uh, like the same instructions for everybody. And David, any idea about schedule? Okay, teacher number one, I mm -hmm. should continue with my work schedule. Okay, I should, I'm sorry. Complete? Yes. Complete. Uh, the complete is, I, I don't. Mm -hmm. No, complete is okay. Yeah, you did it good. With, with, with my work schedule. Yeah, that's it. I should complete my work schedule. So here we have the answer. We have a worksheet, una hoja de trabajo para ustedes. Pero esta la vamos a hacer. Uh, okay. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Les doy un par de segundos. Veamos esto. Here we have from one to ten. Tenemos del uno al nueve. Uh, I'm sorry, from one to nine. Take a look at this. Then le doy un par de segundos, and then we start. We're going to use should or shouldn't. Okay, should or shouldn't. That's kind of easy. Okay, let's complete this. And remember, we have to uh, read the complete sentence so we can have an idea what is the context, what is the sentence talking about. So, volunteers for this, or maybe I can select some of you. You tell me. Uh, Evelyn, okay, one number, and then Oscar. Number one, you have agreed how you shouldn't change it. Okay. You shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't change it. Yeah, of course, you, you shouldn't change it. Uh, Oscar, Daniel, right? And then Daniel. Yes, teacher. Uh, number two. Mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't drink so much coffee. It's bad for your blood pressure. Okay, yeah. I know uh, you shouldn't uh, drink so much coffee, but coffee is like a good and necessary sometimes, but uh, it is that brings like negative or it has negative effects and uh, daniel and then andre well, number nine number nine he should study more mm -hmm. if he wants 
to pass his exam. Okay, this exam. Yeah, he should study. Thank you. Uh, Andre, right? Do you have any number? Okay, Ter. Mm -hmm. The government should help people. Yeah, that's that's correct. The government should. Okay. Maybe we can have Luisa here. Okay, teacher number seven. Number seven. Your children go to the restaurant. The food is terrible. Okay, yeah. uh, it's terrible. So it's a recommendation. Mm, it's a recommendation. You shouldn't go to that restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess we know uh, some restaurants that they are not good, right? So that's why it's a recommendation. Uh, let's listen in this case to Eduardo and then David. Eduardo, any idea? Four, five, six, or eight? Uh, number four. Mm -hmm. It is an incredible film. You should watch it. Okay. You should watch it. I guess uh, we all have like favorite movies but there are some movies or some films that there are so so awesome so incredible in that case we recommend and we can say that you still watch it um let's listen to okay give me a second so ya continuamos Okay, um, let's continue. Maybe we can have in this case. Hi, teacher. Okay, Davis. You, five, six, or eight? Mm -hmm. Number six. Please. Do you do you think I should apply for a new job? Okay, nice. But in this case, do you think I should? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should apply for a new job. Uh, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Could it be? Thank you. Um, let's listen to Guillermo, maybe. Okay. Okay. It's a, number five. It's Hi. a very dangerous area. Tourists uh, shooting, shouldn't uh, go there. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Uh, there are some uh, dangerous areas in every country. Okay, thank you for your participation. I don't know, if, well, I don't know if, if uh, Rosalie is ready. If not, uh, maybe Luisa can help us with number eight. Okay, teacher. Please. Um. Okay. 
este pues son son one son was that you five you choose Mm -hmm. say that thank you you should say thank you okay so that's it when someone does uh, you a favor mm -hmm. you should say thank you lo que decíamos do a favor right okay uh, thanks and we're going to continue with the next activity that it is the song tenemos la canción what's the name of the song and let me check for this activity we have Oscar Daniel right Oscar yes teacher okay mm. eh, para compartir no, ya no te permite. doy el I'm going to give you the permission oh. okay you can do it now you can share ya puedes compartir Okay. Uh, yeah. We can we can see. It. Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Um uh, Saturday morning, jump of of bed and put on my best suit. Got in my car and raced like a jet all the way to you. Knocked on your door with hair in my hand to ask you a question. Cows. I know that you're an old-fashioned man. Yeah. Can I have your daughter for the rest of my life? Say yes, say yes. Cause I need to know. You say I'll never get your blessing till the day I die. Die, die. So, mm -hmm. love, I die. Yeah. So, Look, my friend, but the but the answer is no. Mm. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway. Marry that girl, marry her anyway. Marry that girl, yeah, no matter what you say. Marry that girl. And well, be a family. Why you gotta be so rude? Um, uh, in 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 order of colors, uh, representative, uh, uh, simple past uh, in yellow, in yellow, uh, simple present green, uh, uh, adjective uh, sky blue. Sky blue. Oh, sky cyan. blue. Okay. Okay. Uh, possessive pronoun and purple uh, future and red preposition in uh, aqua uh, ver, ver, ver to be in green, gray, gray, um, and pronoun in, in blue. Blue, okay. Okay, that, that, that's really nice. Perfect, good organization of the words. Very ordered. We, well, congratulations, uh, Oscar, you did a good job. Rosalie, uh, did you raise your hand? Do you know the name of this song? Yes. Why do gotta be so rude? Don't you know human too? It's una canción rude magic. Ah, it's like reggae. 
Yeah. Right. Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know it. I didn't. I didn't pay attention to the to the lyrics. Que le puse atención a la letra. Mm. Okay. I got it now. I got it. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you for sharing. I guess we learn something every day. Rosalie, you know, you, you have like a lot of music in your memory. So that's nice. Uh, for to no, for tomorrow, no, for Monday. Luisa, could you help us with this activity on Monday, Luisa? Okay, teacher. Please, thank you. We're about just to finish because uh, almost everybody has uh, has participated in this, and I like it because if you notice, you're practicing reading, you're practicing pronunciation, and you are memorizing. Even if you don't, if you don't notice, you are acquiring new vocabulary. Okay. Let's move now with this. Okay. Here we have an activity from the manual. It says, uh, get in person, discuss about the policy that you have in your company, record the conversation and share with the facilitator. Okay. We're going to complete this. Uh, we do, uh, something that we do as always is to create short conversation as i told you or as i say every time we do this it is not necessary to to create a b or a long conversation you can have like the middle of this la mitad de esto, half of this and remember you should or shouldn't but in this case something that it's related to the instructions it says discuss about the policies that you have in your company it means that you don't have to invent you have to take into account the real policies in your company es que vamos a utilizar las políticas las normativas reales en su compañía and then we're going to create a, a conversation i'm going to give you like eight minutes so we can create and then we come back and we share this uh, conversation okay I'm going to create the teams Just give me a second. Okay, see you in a moment. Please accept the request.
Okay, now we are back. Uh, now we are here. And maybe we can, um, we are about just to, to finish. Ya casi terminamos. 20 minutos, 20 minutes. And we say goodbye. So maybe we can start this. And listening to David and Maritza. Could you, David and Maritza? Okay, teacher. Okay. Maritza, start. Okay, Maritza, you start. Okay. Hi, David. Okay. Hi, David. Tell me about the policies of your company. How are you, Maritza? For example, in my company, provide quality telephone service in the terms or of product support and attention. Well, in my company, the employees shouldn't smoke. We also have that policy in my work too. We shouldn't do it. I think so too. Finish, teacher. Nice. Very good points because you refer to your own reality. Thank you. And Luisa and Daniel, what about you? Okay. okay, okay, please. Okay, good morning, Daniel. Welcome to your new job. Good morning. <laughs> uh, could you help me please with the police of the company? We press in the check. It's time. It's a uh, seventy thirty <laughs> in the morning. Okay. Well, I should go out. Uh, the 12 to eat. It is a lunch. It is a lunch horse. Um, I check, check it in the, pardon, sorry, um, at three in the afternoon, you can have a coffee. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you. Well said. Um, we go now with <clears throat> Gustavo. Who was your classmate, Gustavo? Okay, teacher. Eduardo. Okay, with Eduardo. Eduardo, are you ready? Yes. Okay, my friend. Yes. Okay. Hello, good morning, Eduardo. I want to know the policies you have in your company. Hello, Gustavo. Well, in my company, there are many policies. One of these is uh, we have we have to to visit five customers on the week. Well, in my company, you sure children. Get bad uh, customer service. Uh, if you do do this, you're saving a warning. The the attention to the customer is very important, and in this in this case, you don't don't have a warning. That's right. The customer is the most important thing. Right. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Well, use of warnings it, and, and something a uh, very common in uh, our companies. Guillermo and Rosalie, how are you doing? Okay. Okay, teacher. Guillermo start. Okay. Guillermo start. Uh, hey, Rosalie. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Hello, Guillermo. Well, there are many policies in my policies. company. Mm -hmm. For example, policies, <laughs> for, example, for example, employees shouldn't use your cell phone in the manufacturing plant. Okay, well... In my company, you shouldn't argue with the customer. If you do this, you will uh, receive, receive 
a warning. And should you notify your superior if do something wrong? Yes, you should. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> you something wrong. Uh, I don't know if Andre, Evelyn, or Oscar Daniel could complete uh, the could complete the conversation. Teacher, nosotros solamente lo pasamos al diálogo, pero no sé si los compañeros quieren improvisar. Mm, okay. Si no, pues, uh, well, si no se pudo, pues no hay problema. Okay, no problem. Let's move. Uh, here we have the final uh, worksheet. Tenemos una hoja final, pero también tenemos. Here we have this. Eh, vamos a terminar con la worksheet, pero antes de eso tenemos talk about a person who inspires you. Una persona que les inspire. Uh, maybe uh, I need you to write the name of that person or if uh, it's a relative, you say my mother, my father. If you want to say uh, maybe uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, or if you want to say a person like um, Marie Curie, Albert Einstein, I don't know. Write the name here and we'll, you have to say just in brief, brevemente, why do you consider that that person inspires you? Okay. Why do you consider that person it is important for you? Because you mentioned him or her. Okay. I'm going to be checking here the names, or you can say my cousin, my uncle, my grandpa, mm -hmm. because um, it is very common that these people um, gave you a lesson. Normalmente dan lecciones. Give, uh, that person gave you a lesson, and that lesson maybe changes our mind or the way uh, we see the world, okay? I'm going to be waiting for your answers. Voy a estar esperando su respuesta. Let's listen. What do you think of this? Maybe we can start this case with
Maritza, okay, in brief, Maritza, don't worry. We're not going to talk about a lot of, of time. Maybe one or two reasons why you consider uh, uh, your parents are uh, your inspiration. Because they are, they have all always for me. Okay, and I consider they continue supporting you now, right? Even you are grown up. Okay, I can see them, but they support you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's nice. David uh, and then Daniel. Okay, David, please. Uh, okay, teacher. In my case, uh, it's my father who always put family first above all else. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's it. Very well said. Uh, Daniel and then Eduardo. Okay, Daniel. Okay, uh, I think that my mother that's my inspiration. Uh, because the, because she wake up at uh, three a.m. to job every day and stop into work at uh, six or seven more or less. Mm, wow, she's a very hardworking woman. Okay, so well, thank you. That's it. She works a lot. Uh, Eduardo, please, and then Evelyn. Okay, Eduardo, uh, your grandma. Let's see, because my grandma, she has 97 years old, and she has uh, five, five children. Mm -hmm. uh, only three uh, is it's alive yet. Oh, okay. and she had many uh, infirmities, how do you say? Uh, illnesses. Illnesses, but she every time uh, have the, this, how do you say, um, fuerza de voluntad. Oh, okay, strength. Tiene fortaleza, strength. Yes, this, this is strength. strength. Or will. Uh, Yes, that's right. Okay, wow. Uh, I guess she has experienced very, but very difficult situations related yes. to that, if you say it. And if she continues having strength, it means that she she's a superwoman. Wow. Great. Yes, she's, she's a great. Okay, thank you. Muy valiente. Okay, uh, thank you for... Uh, sharing uh, Eduardo. What about Evelyn and then Andre? Evelyn, please. In my case, case it will be my mother because of how strong um how working he is. Um, so. mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, your mother. Uh, always our mothers are so special. Andre, and then we go with Gustavo. Okay, Andre, please. Okay, my inspiration is my family. I work very hard because I want them to improve of me. Okay, so you want to give everything uh, to your family, right? So that's why you, your family is an inspiration. Mm -hmm. I like that answer. Thank you. Gustavo Teacher. and then Oscar Daniel. Hello? Yeah? Hey, I have a question. Please. Uh, with, the, with the homework, we have to finish the unit three today? Yeah. Of course, it is like... Uh, that could be nice if you can, because uh, most of you, la mayoría, most of you have finished unit three. There are some of you, uh, well, there are like three that they have not completed. But if you could do it tonight, it could be great. Okay. Do you have some difficulties? Here? No, no, no. Okay. I, I just asking. Okay. No uh, problem. We do it at the end of the class. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. Thank you so much. Um, what about uh, Gustavo, right? And then Oscar Daniel. Okay, teacher. My inspiration is my mother 
because because she is a thing 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 fighting a uh, fighting woman mm -hmm. and she always has a solution for everything nice uh, if you notice when we have difficulties or we have problems sometimes we need advice so that's why we ask to our mother or father and in your case your mother gives you always options solutions right yes. yeah wow yes. Uh, she's very wise, muy savvy. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. What about e Oscar, Daniel, and Rosalie, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, in in my life, my best inspiration is my father because he has never given he up and we have never lacked for anything. Okay, that's a good example that you never have to give up, right? He never did it. Nunca lo hizo. So that's why you have a good example to continue fighting uh, against the problems, even you have big problems in life. Thank you, Oscar Daniel. Uh, Rosalie and then Luisa. Come on, Rosalie. Um, my inspiration are my parents because okay. they have the energy to continue continue in the business mm -hmm. for their uh, daily livelihood they have to to told us mm -hmm. told us more than words they have done it by example okay that is uh, as you mentioned the best thing you can do is to teach by doing something words uh, I I was reading a book and there is a very interesting part when it says that the kids, the children, sons or daughters, los hijos o en general they uh, imitate, ellos imitan they imitate the 90% of the things that uh, parents do but they just do 10% what the parents say Los hijos hacen el 90% de lo, lo que los padres hacen y 10 de lo que les dicen. So, as you mentioned, uh, they have uh, taught you by actions. And that's the best thing that uh, parents can do. Teach by doing. Thank you. Especially you have nice parents. Luisa, and then we're going to have... I guess Guillermo. Okay, okay Lisa. the first, the first school for loving and the taking care of, of every day. The second, my father, my parent for education, me and giving me what we always with their rich. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. I like it. Perfect. Um, so, Guillermo, could you mention yours? And then we're going to check the attendance list and we say goodbye. Okay, Guillermo. In my case, I will say that is my mother mm -hmm. because she is uh, a good person and she is really hardworking. Okay. Uh, she's really hardworking. Uh, so nice, so nice that we have good examples as parents. So if we have kids, we have to give the best example, okay, for them. Uh, I'm going to check the attendance list, say hi, hello, good evening, okay, friends. And we say goodbye. Uh, Adi, not here. Ana Cristina, I don't know. Luisa, yes, right, Luisa? Present. Thank you, Andre. Yes, right. Presentation. Okay, nice. Uh, we go with Rivas, not here. Daniel. Presentation, good night. Thank you. Uh, what about David? Present, teacher. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, we go now with Evelyn. Presentation. Thank you very much. Guillermo. Present teacher. Yeah. Uh, John, listener, Katia, now Maritza. Present. Okay, Gustavo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Uh, Oscar, Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, good Oscar, night. could you wait? Uh, te puedes quedar después de la clase un par de minutos nada más, please, para la okay. sesión. Okay, okay. Thank you, uh, Eduardo. Hi. Present. Thank you, uh, Rosalí. Present. Good night. Uh, thank you. Good night. Okay, my friends. See you on Monday. Uh, sugiero que avancen con la unidad 4. Avancen todo lo que puedan, porque el jueves uh, solo nos quedan cuatro clases. On Thursday, we finish. El jueves terminamos, okay? El modo. Have a good night. Bye-bye, my friends. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Okay. Um, well, Oscar, uh, just to know if you have some uh, questions, a ver si tienes algunas preguntas, algunas dificultades, tal vez con la plataforma, con las eh, tareas. Por, por el momento en, en la plataforma, todo bien, teacher. Este, solo eh, una que me costó fue la que eh, al final no era de poner toda la votación, sino que solo la palabra que Solo una colocada. palabra, ajá, esa parte ajá. Es, considero que no está como extraña la plataforma, pero ah, igual. Ah, Qué bueno que solucionaste. Sí, sí, de ahí intenté de muchas formas hasta que logré que eso era, pero por lo demás en la plataforma todo bien. Eh, dentro de lo que quizás me cuesta un poco, y sí soy bastante consciente en eso, es el tema de, de desarrollar una plática, digamos, algo extensa. Siento uh -huh. que quizás muy poco vocabulario manejo o algo por el estilo, no sé. Ok, eh... sí. Eh, ok, eh, te comprendo. Fíjate que normalmente eh, en el nivel básico, lo que normalmente se hace es hablar uh, acerca de, de cosas personales. Uh -huh. Información personal, después de que pasas eso, ya tú hablas de, de tus gustos, Y después de eso, ya pasamos a lo que nosotros tenemos como las speaking activities. Eh, si te has dado cuenta, en el grupo de WhatsApp yo envío dos preguntas diarias en la mañana. Entonces, uh -huh. estas preguntas lo que hacen es que tú preparas la respuesta. Puede ser escrita o tú la practicas oralmente. Cuando ya se acerque la clase, tú la dices. Y la clave de todo esto es pues que eh, practiques antes de la clase. Estamos haciendo ahí, generando vocabulario, uniendo ideas y practicando la pronunciación. Yo te sugiero que en esas últimas clases que hace falta, porque si has estado eh, posiblemente un poquito ocupado, ¿verdad? Por, la, por los temas eh, de horarios laborales, pero eh, eso te podría ayudar bastante. Comento esto porque los estudiantes que tuve el módulo pasado a este módulo han tenido un cierto progreso. Entonces considero que por ahí te puede servir bastante. Aparte de ver videos, de entrevistas, de conversaciones básicas, sencillas, no necesariamente difíciles. Y te a lo básico, vas avanzando. ¿Ok, hey, Oscar? Hey, sí, la, la, la verdad me, me ha costado un poco el tema de, del, del tiempo durante el día, ¿verdad? Porque no, no queda mucho tiempo. Sí, y, yo sé sinceramente. Que... Sinceramente, teacher, en todas las, las speak activities, este, uh -huh. prácticamente cuando empieza a preguntar, empiezo yo a ver qué voy a contestar. Sí, no, Soy yo sincero. comprendo. Y, y eso uh -huh. es bueno. O sea, realmente, eh, si lo puedes hacer así, perfecto. Pero sí te recomiendo que, pre que prepares tu respuesta con anticipación para cuando ya te llegue la, el momento de preguntar, 
tú no solamente tengas la respuesta, sino que eh, tengas más seguridad. Uh -huh. Como ya la has okay. practicado y todo eso, entonces te va a ser fácil. Eh, si okay. te das cuenta, algunos sí en el momento e inventan y todo eso, y está bien, no hay problema. Pero considero que eso de ver que se conteste y todo podría ser quizás para el siguiente nivel, el siguiente módulo, porque recuerda que a veces uno quiere decir cosas, pero no tenemos el vocabulario, pero si él has preparado el vocabulario, ya está. Okay. Eso, pero así que, ajá, te animo para que, para que esta última semana solo nos quedan cuatro clases, ¿verdad? Ánimo. Ok. Practica un poco eh, más y vamos más. a ver cómo salimos de las otras clases, ¿ok? Eh, una cosa más, este... Yo, yo tuve algo, bueno, un, un tema particular respecto al curso. No sé si uh -huh. le comentaron, pero este a mí del, del, del quiero ver, sería el módulo 4, eh, no lo pudieron impartir o no estaban completos las personas. Entonces uh -huh. me pasaron de un solo al 5 con usted. Es como que me haya saltado el 4. Permíteme, ¿cómo, cómo? No recibiste el 4. No recibí el 4. Yo estuve en el 3 y del 3 metí toda la papelería para el 4, pero como que no llenaron los cupos y me dieron la posibilidad que podía ingresar con usted y que le iban a comentar respecto a eso, ¿verdad? Pues fíjate que no. No me comentaron, pero yo encuentro eso un poco complicado porque... No tanto más allá de, de, que, de que quizás me avisaron o no, pero eh, con Insafor para, ¿cómo se llama? Para matricularte en el siguiente módulo necesitas eh, la aprobación del módulo anterior. Por eso me parece bien extraño. Sí, pero... a mí también me parece extraño, pero así, así pasó. <risa> ok, sí, entonces hay ciertos temas que sí te, 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 te saltaste, pero bueno. Ya que estamos aquí, terminemos no, el módulo, ¿verdad? No no me no me he sentido perdido en los temas, ¿verdad? O sea, siento que lo comprendo y todo, pero este sí me pasó eso respecto a eso. Ajá. Va, está bien, entonces. Bueno, ánimo, eh, no sabía eso, fíjate. Para la próxima, cuando suceda eso, sí, es, es bueno que tú le comentes al instructor y todo eso, porque sí eh, pude haber dejado, o oh, pude haber hecho un par de revisiones de algunos temas. Así es, rápido. Pero, okay. pero bueno, vamos a ver qué hacemos entonces en estos días, ¿verdad, Oscar? Este, okay. Así que ánimo, ya nos quedan cuatro clases y después vamos a tener un par de vacaciones, ¿ok? Ok, Ticha. Okay. Pasa feliz noche entonces. Have a good night. Good night, teacher.